WFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Uh, let's take a look at what we got going on uh, closing the day. Uh, you have the composite about 0.27%, kind of a little bit of a a bit of a down day, I would say, for most things. You have the Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.8%. Yeah, I think the composite is at least right now a little bit green. You have such a massive consolidation of value at really the top and mainly in tech, right? Uh, you have the Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.8%. You have the E Mini up about, or excuse me, off about 0.16%. You have that dollar again, pretty strong right now to that counter trend, uh, but staying under the 104. Uh, you have crude oil up about 1.66%. You have gold doing a phenomenal thing today, uh, trading all-time highs at 2,734. And silver is very close behind it, trading at 237. Copper off about 0.52%. Celsius is now entering whatever kind of battle phase they have down here. Let me get off this one year. Again, not on any extreme news. The gap up was on some volume, at least on the three-month. Uh, but it's floating between this 32, 34, uh, especially with the past few sessions. Um, again, nothing totally attractive right now uh, for Celsius. So I'd assume this is kind of just like some back end things going on here. You have Disney off about 0.68%. Uh, they elected a new chair, uh, kind of set it down a little bit on it. Still trading higher than we have been uh, recently, trading at 96.62. They're going to have a new CEO ready to come in 2026, which is nice to see them kind of moving forward a little bit. Uh, Lucid uh, getting sold off today, off about 3.04%. Sumer Rivian is kind of the same. These guys have been getting smoked recently. Um, it's just a bad time. Yeah, 10.03. So we're really uh, tr trading quite low uh, in Rivian. And it doesn't seem like there's any, uh, you know, anything attractive at these lower levels for people to get into. Uh, I think a lot of people are bag holders at this point, uh, which is somewhat unfortunate. Seems like they might not be, um, you know, Operating at a profit by the end of this year, which is kind of a shame. Uh, be really interested to hear their earnings and kind of what that forward guidance is. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens with Rivian. See what happens with the whole EV market. I think they're getting squashed right now. You have a lot of uh, short-term uh, shorting, basically, uh, on EVs and then renewables in particular, um, such as solar, wind, not nuclear, but new. Uh, folks, thank you so much for joining me. Um, thank you for being a part of TFNN. You. I can't articulate how much we appreciate. Thank you so much.